Okay, good morning again, lovely people. So I get these stumpers from people sending me just something like this. And so I look at it and I have to try to guess what's going on here. So what do you think? Uh, we see a crack here. Oh, it's, it's open. Hmm. To open a crack, you got to push this over, right? Clearly you have to push it over to open it. To open a crack here. Wait for it. I mean, how else do you get a crack open? Uh, how else do you get that crack open? See, it's open. Oh, it won't let me, uh, oh, will it? Yeah. See how open it is? Yeah. So, I'm waiting for you guys to guess at it. All right, let me zoom back out. Um, okay, what's this? Uh, this is a metal door. Uh, metal, rather. Door. I gave it away too soon, damn it. All right, so metal door. <clears throat> And then, oh, we have some crack here. Some, oh, some spalling. I see rust. Oh, it's got to be spalling. It's got to be spalling, right? It's rust there. You can see the rust on the rebar. Oh, so it's spalling. Oh, we'll just discontin discontinue, dis uh, discount that. Um, uh, oh, wait a minute. Look. There's a, there's a, uh, a crack going up here all the way to this window. Okay, so now I'm starting to see a bigger picture. Hmm. What's this? What's that? Oh, more spalling. Concrete. It spalled it off. Oh, I see. I see the rusted steel, so it spalled it off. Oh, uh, okay. All right, let's look at the joints. All right, so the joints of the brick. Now, let's get a little serious now. Now that I gave you enough, to you guys make your own conclusion first. And... Let's get you there. All right, this is all I have. I did write the person back and say, hey, uh, is the wall over here for my, for my information, is the wall on this side? I asked after I already gave the answer what my answer is. All bets are off. If that wall over to the right is displaced, meaning uh, it's starting to fall over. So here's the wall over there. It's starting to rotate over this wall here. Or is it or is it a continuous root, you know wall system and there's no issues? Is it bowing in? It, so there's the wall. Let's look at the top view of it. Is it bowing in? A bowing in could give us that action of pulling that in there, right? But what else can do it? A bunny rabbit? Nope. That's a top view of a forklift, and you're looking down. Those are the forks. And the person rode the, drove the forks all the way up and hit this. No, it could be just the mass, the tower. The tower of the uh, forklift hit it. <clears throat> what else could it be? Uh, since I don't see the pit bottom of this, it could be a loading dock. And they drive a forklift in and out. And that could be the uh, forklift hitting that. Loading docks have the uh, a little bit of bumper sticking out so you don't ram the wall. You ram the sacrificial ro loading dock. So the only way to hit it then is with... Uh, with the uh, forklift on the outside like this. Let's now let's talk about the uh, the rebar. The rebar this has been impacted, I believe. The impact here and the impact. As you look at the door, the door is in good shape. So the door was not taken was not part of this impact. The door was open, or a door was open. But the, the impact was not from the outside, but I believe possibly from the inside. This looks like a, a, a bow like this. So the vehicle hit this straight beam above here, this header. It smashed it, creating this bow, creating a tension over on this side as we look from inside, fracturing it thereupon at the rebar. the rebar here, blowing it out, fracturing the brick here. You see the joints were closed. That is a brick, a mortar joint, mortar joint. And the fractured across the, uh, the radiate, the uh, torque action, if you will. Okay. Thanks, Charles, your video. Uh, your videos go up right now. So the, the profile looks like this. 
And on the other side, we would like to see that it bows out also. But the rebar held on. It epoxied back. Oh, epoxied. It's anchored back. And it held on to the, the structure back here. This rebar, I believe, is added. So this is probably formed in place and not purchased because it would have just slid off otherwise or rotated or something like that. But we have a separation. And it looks like after that separation, they more used, it came back to just seal it off. This is their repair. But the problem is the whole wall is being is bowed out. There's a good look at it right there. Um, right here. This wall is now bowed out. So if I look at it from the side profile, it would probably look a little bit like that. I'm exaggerating. But this, this part here would be here. This is the plane of the building, and that's the bowed part. The joints are, um, it's, 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 uh, it has a, rot a, a nice rotation on it. These joints are pretty open now. The joints that you see now. I'm calling them joints now. I'm referencing them as joints. Okay, so that impact was so strong, it all of this would stayed bonded. Stayed bonded. Uh, they bricked up there. The bricks, it came to the edge of, edge of the window, and it stopped. The block stopped it. We look to the right. It looks like they did some toothing there, Some something a little funny. Not funny at all, but... Okay, uh, now the question is... So this is pretty much uh, dangerous. It's got a nice four inches, let's call it, transferring right here. Let's, let's say that's four inches. Problem is it's transferring onto nothing, onto this wedge. So without the anchor up here, though it's left, this would probably rotate down. But to stop it from rotating down, this is what you have to look at. It's still integral, where I, where I mentioned earlier, with the bond here. So for this to rotate this direction down, it still has to compress. As long as these stay together, all this bond has to rotate into this side, this side. And it can't do that. So it's part of that locks it in also. And I don't see any separation here. So, oops. Separation here. So it'll start behaving as one as it tries to rotate until it breaks. So this is what it looks like right now. That's the, that's the real look of the, of the picture of it, including the wedgie. So let's do that again. Let's get a real image of what it looks like. And we stair step it and do that, and there's what it looks like. That's the piece you're looking at, not just the header, but the whole piece until, not just the beam above, until it starts separating. Then you're looking at, malt, then you then you can start breaking it down different pieces again. But as long as these are bonded, look at them as one for now, as far as its reaction. Not just oh the beam can fall away. Well the beams in has surface tension of the mortar, the paste, right? Remember I talked about that? Then I'm going to talk to you a lot more about it. I know I, I, I'm ready to break the mold on stop saying tension and compression. And uh, the, the, the tension is pretty, pretty awesome in the uh, surface tension of the paste, the mortar. Now, it depends what mix they have there. But I can tell you now, it's holding up under this stresses, under these st this stress. Uh, this stress, these stresses. I don't see any break bond bond break here, and that's because we have no movement either. But we do have a kinetic energy there for us. Now it might be something, even though we see the crack open here, internally looking top down now. So here I'm going to do this side like this. This is what we see. This is this wall, and this this part I'm going to draw is right there now. So we see the this is to be the face. So I'm going to do that. So we see the face. But internal, maybe she touches in, touches there like that. And so back here, internal, it's holding it. It can't rotate to fall down. It's got to rotate to fall down. It's in a, okay. You ever move, try to move furniture? Stand, stand up a, a, an eight-foot dresser inside of ceiling with eight ceilings that are eight-foot tall. An eight-foot dresser, eight-foot tall. 
eight foot ceilings. Can you stand it up? Can you stand it up? You cannot, unless you, you know, there's no bending of the dress or anything else, no trickiness like that. It has to stay true to form. It, even if it's a half inch thick dresser, yeah, that's that micro dresser they sell. Um, it won't be, the, the point to point is greater than eight feet. So this is your eight feet, eight feet right here. So that's eight feet, right? So can you stand it in an eight foot room? No, because point to point is actually this way. Oh, sorry. So it's here and here that, you're, that your longest points are going to be when you go to rotate it. And that's greater than eight feet. Now, you can't push the ceiling in. You can't rub it. And besides that, I gave you a half inch dresser. Come on. That doesn't exist. But I'm just showing you that you, you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it without, you know, scrubbing the ceiling up a bit. That's probably only eight, eight foot, eight, probably eight foot, I don't know. Eight, eight foot and one eighth inch maybe maybe a quarter but that's the it's eight foot it's crazy an eight foot so the repair for this one is what well you need to make it stable first off this is totally not stable there's some tie these some helicoil tiles they sell they're probably kind of cool they tie back into here you know they're kind of fancy still got shit to deal with they already don't mind using block on this job so what am I going to say? Evaluate the internal. It's only, what, two courses thick. Evaluate the internal of it. Uh, make sure it's stable. All this is stable. And I, I'd probably say if, you, if you're not going to lose too much room, go back with a column. A steel column. You've already had a, one impact. Let's say another impact will happen. Go back with a steel column. Put one of those things inside there that will, that will, will, will bang. That you can, they can bang into a headache bar like this. They swing from like a chain. So here's a chain. This is the bar, and when the forklift operator gets within eight, eight six feet of it, make it like, like a square like that. He hits the chain, and it rattles pretty pretty loud. And uh, then they know not to go forward, and then hit the wall, uh, the the uh, beam again. All right, this is a short one, but it takes that much. Uh, um, this little this little image takes that much that much image. Ugh energy to uh, throw at you of course if this rotates off you know a lot of things can happen if it wasn't for what people call weak the tension and paste and mortar but you could probably take all this off it'd probably just stay there with the surface tension around the outside edges it'd probably just stay there I mean you shouldn't work under it but it's amazing what uh, what the uh, what the, 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 the falsity of uh, of concrete paste now I'm holding out because I'm waiting I was waiting for somebody but I'll just give it up the end of this video right now there is a pull-off test that will tell you your bond strength there's a pull-off test it's uh, the Germans do it a lot um, I had the tool I sold it it's uh, it's almost like you put down a band-aid of, of the mortar you let it set and then you pull it off of whatever you're t adhering to and that gives you your per square inch or whatever your, your size of your sample is um, at that location it gives you your with that preparation because the preparation the, the, the uh, you know they, they tell you the, uh, the devil's in the details you got you should do your pull off test just like the darn contractor would do it don't prepare it at ideal situations clean it off spray it rejection and no, the contractor is not going to do that they're barely going to get the dust off the damn floor. They might give it one rinse off, and then the, magically all the dust is gone, and all the grain, the the uh, the uh, the, uh, the bond breakers products, the sand, the dirt that's on the floor, it just magically disappears with the water. It evaporates with the water. Did you guys know that? The contractors do that. They use a I'm trying to think a water sweeper. How about that? I'm trying to make up a word. You know, I like making up word. It evaporates with the water. Spray down the water. It's it the water when the water evaporates, it sweeps up the dust and dirt into the air, and off it goes. Water sweeper. Uh, I don't know. All right, take care, guys. Bye.